today we have another Where in the World with uh, Steffi. And due to technical difficulties, Shabrea will either be here or not. Today we are joined by me, Mr. Dill, Sophia, Josie, Shabrea, and our featured speaker guest. So to do this game, we have to, we have seven questions and we have to figure out where in the world this person is. So uh, let's get started. Do you live in the Northern or Southern hemisphere? I live in the Southern hemisphere. Uh, what time is it? Right now is the same time over there is, it's 12.15. Um, what language do you often speak? Okay, I you we speak Spanish. What's the weather? Well, the weather is tropical. Uh, we don't have really winter. We don't have really summer. It's just tropical. Sometimes it's hot. Sometimes it's cold. But we don't have snow. We there's no snow here. Um, are there any mountains nearby? Okay, you want uh, you want the name on mountains or how many mountains we have here? Um, are there any uh, nearby? Yeah, we have a lot of mountains here. A lot. Can you name one of them? Okay, well, I'm gonna give you the biggest one. Is the Chimborazo. Okay, next question. Do you live next to any national monuments? Yeah, we have a, a lot of them, but one of the, well, we have, I'm gonna give you two, okay? One is the name within the capital of the country. The name of this one is El Panecillo and another big, big one, in is around the world is la mitad del mundo. It will be the middle of the world. What's the closest ocean? The closest ocean is el Pacifico. The Pacific, the Pacific Ocean. Okay. All right, who's got the next question? Um, we're all uh, trying to find the name of that mountain. Yeah, that was the last one. No, you, you missed one. Do you live next to Puerto Rico? Found it. Can I say that again? Do you live in Puerto Rico? Nope. Do you live in Ecuador? That's right. Awesome, awesome. So. Steffi lives in Ecuador, and Steffi, you can turn your camera on if you would like. Uh, Hi, guys. So uh, this, this, this is Stefania. Uh, she is my cousin slash adopted type sister. Uh, mm -hmm. Sophia, I actually know her, so Sophia, the, the whole theory that I'm being catfished is not true. Uh, she is actually family. Uh, she's actually uh, on my mom's side, who uh, was from Quito, Ecuador. Uh, so Svania uh, is going to be kind of sharing you, uh, sharing, sharing with you uh, what life is like in Ecuador. Uh, uh, Quito is a major city in South America, uh, big city. Uh, so uh, I'm going to stop talking and let Steffi uh, tell you a little bit about Ecuador, maybe show you some different things uh, and stuff like that. So uh, without further ado, Steffi. Okay. Uh, okay, hi guys. Like Dennis says, he is my brother <laughs> in adoption. Mm, his mom adopted me when I was 12 years old. She took me to the United States. I lived there for a few years. So now I'm back to Ecuador in, well, Ecuador is one of the countries that's in the middle of the world in the littoral line. Ecuador has a lot of mountains. 
like Cotopaxi, Chimborazo, Cayambe. It has a lot of mountain volcanoes. We have the jungle, the, uh, the river, the Amazon River go through the, the jungle from here. I'm gonna share with you pictures from the people living in the jungle, okay? Uh, the culture here in Ecuador is different in every city, okay? We have the part in Ecuador that's the coast and we have another side of Ecuador that's it's a little bit like winter, okay? It's like cold in air, but not the same color as the United States. We don't have snow here, okay? We have a culture in, in the coast, the people dress different. I'm gonna share the picture, the, this from the jungle, okay? And then how I can share pictures. All right, there you go. I think I just gave you the power to share your screen. Okay. You can share your screen down at the bottom. You can hit share screen. Okay. From your Zoom, there's a, it should be a little green button that says share screen. Yeah, yes, I see that. Let me, okay, this is a picture. Okay, I'm gonna send you. You can see, you see, you yep. can see it? Yes, we can. Okay, these people live in the jungle of Ecuador. Okay, that river is the Amazonan River. They go across all the South America, okay? And these people, you, they just live in the jungle. They, so they can live, they go and, you know, kill the animals, they make, they, they just take the fruits out of the tree, the treats and all of that kind of thing. They, they don't speak Spanish, okay? They don't speak Spanish, they speak Quichua, Shuar. It's different languages that we have in, in Ecuador. We have Spanish, Shuar, Ashuar, in, in Quichua, okay? Guys, if you don't understand something, just ask me to repeat you again, okay? Okay. So then we have another pictures like the old Quito. Quito is the capital of Ecuador, okay? That's where I live. I live in Quito. Quito now is, is a, one of the big cities in Ecuador. It's the second big city and it's the second they have more um, people living in, okay? Um, the food from Ecuador is, is different than the United States, okay? Here, is a lot of people, they, they eat guinea pigs. You know what is guinea pigs? Okay, guinea people pigs. Eat... Yes, okay, let me see if I can find. Here, guinea pigs is like a little bit of a rabbit, something like that. I'm gonna send you a picture. That's the way they eat here, the guinea pig. You can see it? Yes, we can. Okay, that's the guinea pig. Some of the people eat here. I don't. I, I don't like it. But most of the people here does eat guinea pigs. Okay. Uh, what else I can tell you about it? Uh, Ecuador is for, for, for a lot of people, the Americans, they, they usually come to visit Ecuador. They think Ecuador is one of the beautiful countries in South America because it's, it's a lot of mountains, a lot of places to visit, to tourist, to travel, okay? Um, uh, what else? Something that you want to ask me and I can tell you about it? You guys eat guinea pigs? Well, I don't like it, but people from here that. It does. They eat guinea pig, pork. Um, I, uh, I don't know the name, but the sheep. Yeah, they eat sheep. Uh, in the jungle, you know, the people I, I send you the picture in the river, they eat the snakes, they eat turtles, they eat um, monkeys, they eat most of the animals. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Um, was it hard moving back from America? 
the hard, oh, okay, say it again. Was it hard moving back from America back to Ecuador? I was hard for me to go back to, to Ecuador. That's what you're trying to ask me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a little bit hard because I I was used to living in the United States with Dennis and Dennis mother and father. They are uh there was a there was like my mom and dad. So when I go back to Ecuador, it was hard because the food is different. Over there, the, in the United States, the, the food has a lot of different spices, vitamins. Here in Ecuador, the food is like you can say it's just plain, it's natural, okay? You grow in the, in the, in there and you just take them out from the, the sink and then you pour it to cook, okay? So it's hard. It's hard because we don't have the same, the same way they live in the United States. You have to work really, really hard to live here. Over there, like it's the way you you own the money is different. Okay. You, so you can live here. You have okay, suppose a nurse, a nurse in the United States earn like $75 an hour. Here, a nurse, uh, earns a month a thousand dollars to live all the months. So you can live the whole month and pay you a thousand dollars a nurse. So it's hard. So for me it was hard to go back to United States and, and live again to Ecuador. What's your favorite thing about Ecuador? What is my favorite what? Your favorite thing about Ecuador. My favorite thing about Ecuador. The climb the beach. Uh, what I like most about Ecuador is the when you go to, you know, you want to go to the jungle and you want to visit place, it's a lot to see. It's a lot things to see, a lot things to find the now, uh, in, and you don't have enough time to, to search, to, to find it out what is about Ecuador people, his culture, Ecuador is a place that you can come in and relax, okay? United States is a place that you work, 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 work. It's a busy place. Ecuador is, uh, is everything. It's, it's relaxing and to have time to, to think about it, to, to enjoy the, the places, the view, the people, because it's, a completely different a world, like you say in the United States. And then when you go come to Ecuador, it's another world, completely different. Um, do, you, do you have um, a different currency? If I have a different currency? Uh, currency? Money. What currency? Money. Oh, no, we had dollar. We had the same before when uh, Ecuador it was like before the the two thousand we was have the uh, another money it was the sucre that was the money that you we used to have but after the two thousand then we changed the money we had now dollars the same one that you have over there. Another question. Um, I can't believe you don't have more questions. I have one. Um, <laughs> was uh, Mr. Dale hard to be related to? Like, <laughs> did you go to school and someone's like, oh, you're related to Mr. Dale? And, you know, you got to be like, yeah. So she went to a different school. She actually went to school in Lake County, which is uh, in Claremont. Uh, and, and she's significantly younger than I am. I'm yes, I'm, I'm 29 right now. When I was over there, I was I was 12, 12 years old and I was in in South Lake High School, like Dennis is in Claremont. I was active in ROTC. In junior ROTC, I it was nice, but like Dennis, Dennis was living in Lakeland, so I was living in another side in Claremont. So I never went to his school because I was too far away. And, and when 
his mother and his father it will be mom and dad and they put me in another school so we was thinking when i was that years ago to go in his school but i don't know why he didn't went to your school then i think it was like just the distance that there's, there's a, a long drive between the two schools uh so that yeah so it was a big long drive uh yeah. like seriously I, i'm surprised you don't have other questions about ecuador um I, were you all just thrown by the guinea pig is that what it is yeah yeah <laughs> Um I can I have like had her hand up did you have a question to Naya? Um Um what was your first impression of Mr. Dale? <laughs> That's another thing just are are just trying to get the the personal dirt. All right, like when we talked with the guy in in Australia you talked to him about potato chips and 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 all the different types of food and clothing that they wore. What do you do for a living? I'm a nurse. Ah, I am a nurse and I'm a especially in instrumentation in the surgeon place. Hmm. Um is that hard for you? It is well, I like to to be in the hospital in the surgeon place, but here it's hard because like I tell you living in the South America, most of in the small countries like Ecuador for you have things you really had to work hard sometimes you had to have not just one job sino two three so you will be able to support your family you if you want to still study you have to work hard to pay you you want to study so it's hard but to help people like now with this virus it really is it is hard but it's happy to see when people get healed okay when you see people that get out of the hospital and say thank you thank you thank you god bless you that is what makes you you happy and is the big paying most of besides the money um we skipped over one of my questions and i was like how am i supposed to slip this back in josie <laughs> um um who is in charge in your country the child okay the president is in charge or oh, and his name is right now is Lenin Moreno but we just went by like two weeks ago for a presidential uh, vote okay so now we we're trying to have another president but the situation is a little bit hard because with this kind of candidates that we have now like when it was in the United States we had the same thing here discuss so right now we changing the presidents we going to a second a second how you say the next second what election yeah oh. we had to have yeah a second row that we going to a second row because the first one it was almost equal and with two candidates so we had to vote again so we decide which one is going to stay like a president so we in that situation right now in equal hmm. how did um, i read that I'm just thinking. <laughs> All right, Janai, do you have a question? Yeah. How good are you with Spanish? How what? How good are you with Spanish? How I did it Spanish? How like, good how are you? Remember, you? Spanish is her primary language. Yeah, my Spanish is my middle language. Oh. English, English is my is second language. Oh, I learned over there. When I start living in the United States, a uh, his a uh, mom and dad it will be Dennis mom and dad. They they touch me the English. They bought me uh, videos, uh, so I can learn the English. They never speak with me Spanish, okay? So I can learn the English. I learned the English around six months. Yeah, but my main language is Spanish. Wow. Oh, I Spanish. <laughs> if you learn Spanish, we can call her back up and you could speak Spanish with her. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> yes, but, anything you want to talk, if you want to teach Spanish, you just, it will be open. Dennis can give you my my Facebook or whatever, so I will be talk to you and teach you Spanish. <laughs> so you guys will learn. That's a good episode. We should do that for the finale. 
Yeah, so you want to do call it back all our people, and... be like, hey, missed but us, I, didn't you? And, and just, no, do you didn't, Spanish, but... just do it all in Spanish. And then, like, we can call up all of our favorites for the finale and then have like, like a, like a, um, I forgot. Like right now, just call everyone like, back like, and be like, like, missed us? Yeah. Like if we're talking right now, we can do a meeting in Zoom and I will teach you guys Spanish. There yeah, we can. you go. See, that, wow. that could be a future call. All right, so they, they, they're not asking you the questions that I'm really interested in. Food. All right. <laughs> I, I'm, all of, I'm all about the food. I'm all about the food. All right, so okay. what do you snack on? Here in the United States, we, we snack on like potato chips and chocolate bars and, and candy. What do you in Ecuador and people in Ecuador like snack on? They will be able to have here. Yeah. Like, okay, we, well, most of the things now, these days, I'm talking to you about these days, we have most of it, everything the United States have, almost everything. But you know what is different is the price. Like, okay, I used to buy over there um, Skechers, okay, you know, the chocolate bars. Okay, over there, I used to buy that for, well, over there, 50 cents, that bar? Mm -hmm. Or how much it costs over there? But the Snickers bar, about like, I think they're about 75 cents now, a dollar. Oh. At on Target, the they're a dollar and 50. A dollar. I don't know where you guys are buying stuff. Well, definitely <laughs> not Target. Publix doesn't sell them at all. They're just like, we're done with them. Publix just yeah. sell it. Well, here in Ecuador, you buy that for the double of price. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the chips over there, I remember, they sell Fringles, right, Dennis? Mm -hmm. That's the, yeah, here we have that, but it costs double the, the cost of it there. Okay, as things they, they, we don't have here, like, you know, marshmallow, you know, they, they, we don't have that here. Well, we don't have the marshmallow, like, liquid, like they, they have over there. Yes, so we good. don't have that here. Which is why whenever a trip from somebody yeah, comes we, to you that put in the, in the bread, in the, yeah, we don't have that here. They, they bring a suitcase of, of marshmallows. No, you just, when my just to come to see me, they just to bring me because we don't have that here. Yeah, what else we don't have that here that you guys will have over there? The candy, okay, it's candy, the name is Disney. A jelly racket. Ooh. Okay, we don't have that here. Oh. The Those were like my food. childhood. If you did good in kindergarten, that's what you would get. <laughs> like <laughs> people yeah, would be like, oh, money. you got an A? Here's a small little thing. Yeah, we don't her. have that here. What else we don't have? The meat, okay? You know the meat that you guys buy over there, you know, you ask you you piece of meat and you want a, a suppose they ask you what you want medium rail, we don't have that much here, okay? If you want to eat some of that big steak, you have to go to a special restaurant and that costs you like seven, eight dollars for a piece of meat. Whoa. Okay? And the most of it they eat here is just like, the meat is just like a sheet, like I say, a piece of sheet of meat. <laughs> and, and it's not taste to it, so I really, that was, when mom and dad used to come, and they used to really be hard in the food because they used to eat really spicy, a big piece of steak, juicy steak, and it's hard to find it here. Okay. And I don't well, do the spending, so seven and eight dollars still really sounds cheap, y'all. And but we're talking tiny piece of, of meat. Yes, not, tiny not pieces. Like, small. Tiny, tiny. Yeah, small. tiny piece. That does sound weird. Ooh. I can imagine how much a big one would be. Yeah, the big thing, like I suppose one day we went to a restaurant here. The, the one is, we can say the, the expensive one for a piece of steak, the T-bones or, or, you know, the juicy steak, sometimes it costs you like it $20, $25. So, okay, it, all right, so we, we also got to back up just a little bit. Okay, remember, a nurse here in the United States makes about like fifty or sixty thousand dollars a year. All right, that's about five thousand dollars a month. A nurse in Ecuador makes one thousand dollars a month. That's so you got to think. 
when they say like a piece of meat costs eight dollars, that piece of meat is if we're looking for like inflation, would be about forty dollars. Okay, because they make twenty percent of what we make here. So everything, like when we adjust things for like the value of a dollar, then they're gonna think one thousand dollars a month is two hundred and fifty dollars a week. That's fifty dollars a day. All right. So uh, if we look at a teacher makes fifty thousand dollars a year here in the United States, you know, a teacher there is only gonna make about twenty percent of that. Like a teacher here, a they earn like eight hundred dollars a month. $700 a month. So when we, when we, when you are looking at a piece of steak costs $8, all right, that $8 out of like $200 a week is a huge, huge amount. You got to think that's 4% of somebody's paycheck is for that one little tiny piece of steak. And if suppose you, got, like, that you guys, if you guys come with, suppose Dennis come with his paycheck over here. Okay. People that come from the United States, they can live comfortable here, really comfortable, okay? You guys can live really comfortable here because it's like Dennis says, you earn more money over there than the people that the people earn here, okay? That's why people, a lot of people like to live here because most of it for them is cheap and, and most of it, they love the, the climb because it's not cold but it's not very hot, hot like it. Suppose in Florida, when it's, we, when it's summer, it's hot. It's really hot. And when it's winter, it's cold. I remember it's really cold, okay? <laughs> in Ecuador, it's not a hot, it's not a cold. So for United States citizens, since people they live, they love here because they just live right, okay? My and dad just like the climate, people of course they was fighting for the food because they can fight the same of food they they used to they they love to eat like spaghetti like sometimes ma just to cook in the house because they, she can find in the restaurant the same food that she want to eat okay mm -hmm. okay in the coast okay if you go into the beach uh, you you will find fish the whole fish with bones with head and you will see the people eat like that. I got one. Okay. What's your favorite phrase to say in Spanish? My favorite <laughs> phrase to say in Spanish, okay, is a lot of them, but it's one of my favorite says, vamos, vamos, vamos. <laughs> what does that That's mean? Quickly, quickly, quickly. <laughs> Vamos, vamos. O sea, so sometimes when you lay and the people say, vamos, vamos, vamos. Mm -hmm. uh, has to be fun. That's my favorite word. See, that's what mom used to tell me whenever we were like, we, we always <laughs> seem to be like, vamos, vamos. Yeah. Yeah. Ma, okay, eh, so... ma, just to say, rápido, rápido. That's the same thing. Vamos, rápido is almost about the same thing. My mom is just, just so. Wait, 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 wait. So if you go to the beach in Ecuador, there are actual fish there. Yes. I've gone to the beach in Florida and there's no fish anywhere. It's just gone. They've no. here, yes. they've you can have, I've only yes, seen like you know, one of the things you would like to see here is the the wheels, the well wheels, wheels, that's the yeah, the wheels. Ooh. We have a, a some some special time of the years that you go to the coast and you see the wheels just jumping in the water, the mm -hmm. huge ones, because they come to Ecuador, to the Pacific Ocean, to, to get reproduction, okay? So you just will see just in his plane, jumping, it will be beautiful. Yeah. I got yeah. one. The one that jumps. I got one. Okay, I just want to pop in. The other thing about Ecuador is off the coast of Ecuador are the Galapagos Islands. The Galapagos yeah, Islands, the Galapagos where Charles Island. Darwin did a lot of his research from, is, well, I say it's off the coast, it's a little ways way off the coast, that you can, but it's actually controlled by Ecuador. 
so that uh, there's a lot of that natural beauty uh, and sea life just off the coast of Ecuador. Uh, and yes, the Galapagos Islands is one of those. Yeah, it's like uh, you have over there Puerto Rico, okay? We have the island here that says Galapagos. Okay, this is like a four, four different islands that come for Galapagos. Galapagos, then when you go over there, you will see the giant turtles. The, this, um, they had a, his, the blue legs. Los piqueros de pájaros azules, de patas azules, that's the name. Piqueros de patas azules. So it's a lot of animals that you will see no anywhere else. They just in the Iceland, okay? Yeah. And this huge turtle, well, we used to have the, the most a huge turtle in, in, and it was uh, over a hundred years and he just died. There's the, the old George, I don't know, you, you hear about it? Uh, no, I don't, I, we haven't. Yeah, at the name of this turtle, it was George. And he was the the longest, the, the oldest, oldest, oldest turtle in the world, in the huge one. It was like, I am talking about, about 300 pounds. And I'm talking you, he was, it was around like uh, maybe, um, uh, I don't know how, I, how you can change this, but it was a meter and 50 centimeters tall. So a meter is about 39 inches. All right, a meter yeah. is 39 inches. Okay, thank you. What advice would you give to me if I was to visit there one day? Oh, what I say again? Like, what advice would you give to someone who was to visit there one day? You guys come to visit me? Yeah. yeah. So what advice? What would, what would you want us to come see? For me, if you guys want to come, I would love to receive you in my house. I will mm -hmm. enjoy it to you to take you the places so you can see it. For like, a, we used to talk to mom, to mom and dad. I used to say it to her that with Dennis, the, he shouldn't bring his, you guys, his students in, in that time. Yeah. So we can have, bring you over here so you can see it because a lot of people they come with the students to Ecuador. Fail trip, fail trip, fail trip, fail trip. <laughs> I declare it. I'm, I'm telling this to Mr. Sears. We have to yeah. make it. The, the um, fail trip to Ecuador. Yeah, make right. it very slow. Right. Hey, JSA, we are all done here and we had so much fun. So I want you to have a wonderful day. And thank you, Sefi, for coming on here. And uh, bye. Bye.